Here's a Pile 15 inch LCD TV with built in DVD player. Um, I got it because it's dirt cheap. $139. Where is it? There. And I also got it because it's one of the last 4x3 non widescreen TVs you can buy new. So uh, we'll see if it's a pile of crap or if it's actually something usable. It also can work as a, a PC monitor, as a S-Video component, HDMI, uh, composite, RF, and the VGA input, which I mentioned, and uh, built-in DVD player. So let's we'll see if it's any good. Let's open up the box here. Instructions manual, remote, power supply, and batteries for the remote. And then the thing itself. Put this down. Alright, nothing else in the box. Styrofoam. And there's the stand. So, uh, let's get the stand out. How to install a stand? Well, that's a big help. Easy enough. As long as it stays put. I don't know. It doesn't seem very secure, but I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Alright, now the power supply out. volts DC at 4 amps. Alright. Okay, power jack is down here. I'll show you all the jacks. So we got power, headphones, left and right audio input, Component video, PC audio input, VGA, HDMI, S video, composite, and RF. So, a full array of inputs there. And the power cable. Also means you can run this on 12 volts, like in a car or a motorhome, because that's what the power supply puts out. All right. Just thinking about it. All right. I'll turn off this light so you don't get a glare. Is trying to do RF TV, which I don't have any antenna hooked up, but I do have this demo DVD. Supersonic surround sampler DVD. Alright, let's see if that works. There it goes. Speakers. Trying to do something there. Alright, silver line. 
Let's take off this protective uh, sheet. Sounds very tinny though, I'll try to adjust the audio. Okay, that's full bass now. Get the remote working. Here's your remote. Probably need to use the remote to get to the next track. Oh, I hate when I do this. speakers but you can't expect much. hooked up to this. But for now that's the pile of crap <laughs> LCD TV built-in DVD player. One design flaw I just noticed is that the composite jack is so far apart from the audio jacks that some of these AV cables can't reach both. You know, unless it's the kind where you can just split it open more. So that's kind of annoying. I would have to use some kind of extension to get this cable to work. So, uh, I should have placed these ports a little better than that. <laughs> 